It has been a very, very active labor environment, to say the least, over the course of the last six months. So many strikes or would-be strikes taking place nationwide. Obviously, most prominently is the actors and writers strikes uh, that we have been following so closely here on Live Now there in New York City and Los Angeles. We're going to hear from some of them in just a moment. But one major strike was averted today. This is what we know. The UPS and Teamsters Union have now tentatively agreed on a new labor deal. It would cover more than 340,000 workers, and the Teamsters call it a historic agreement. Let's talk about this right now. We're going to be joined by Fox News multimedia reporter Jake Carolexis. Uh, he is outside of Seattle tonight to break it all down. Jake, good to see you, my friend. All right, how close were the parties to coming to a strike, and what does this deal look like? Good to see you, Andrew. So the hard deadline to come up with the deal was midnight next Monday night, July 31st, going into Tuesday, August 1st. But they did come to that tentative agreement today. If it eventually goes through, the deal would create more full-time jobs. It would raise, ra raise wages for workers. It would introduce dozens of new uh, protections and improvements in the workplace. According to Teamsters, workers will start to get paid $7.50 more per hour next year. Part-time employees will get paid double what they made during the last contract, and there will be more health and safety protections like air conditioning in vehicles and cargo ventilation. The Teamsters Union president says this agreement helps both sides. Taking care of our members that go into work every single day, especially the part-timers, uh, this is going to improve their lives tremendously, but it's also going to add stability to UPS's workforce. When you're paying people a livable wage, when you're paying people uh, for the hard work that they do and treating them with respect and dignity, they're going to retain employees. So I think it's a win-win for both of us. In a written statement, UPS CEO Carol Tomei said, quote, this agreement continues to reward UPS's full and part-time employees with industry-leading pay and benefits while retaining the flexibility we need to stay competitive, serve our customers, and keep our business strong. If this agreement is finalized, it would prevent what would have been the largest single employer strike in U.S. history. Andrew? You know, Jake, I'm just kind of curious. Uh, so that was the Teamsters... Uh, union head there uh, really lauding this agreement today. Have we heard from the rank and file UPS employees? Obviously, they're happy with it because they're about to ratify it, right? So, Andrew, as of earlier today, uh, the UPS just released that statement um, that we read to you. So the deal has, again, yet to be finalized. It's a tentative agreement. We're going to keep our eyes on that and see what reaction kind of continues to come in. All right, Jake Carolex is there live for us in Redmond outside Seattle. Jake, thanks so much. Talk again. Thanks, Andrew. Okay, so uh, right now, just to kind of uh, put a bow on this story, the White House was also responding to this, uh, and they put out a statement today. And I'm going to read it right here. He, uh, President Biden says, I applaud the Teamsters and UPS for coming together, negotiating in good faith, and reaching a tentative agreement today that will avoid a shutdown at UPS. While this agreement still awaits final ratification by Teamsters members, today's announcement moves us closer to a better deal for workers that will also add to our economic momentum. I've always said that collective bargaining works by providing workers a seat at the table and the opportunity to improve their lives while contributing fully to their employer's success. This agreement is a testament to the power of employers and employees coming together to work out their differences at the bargaining table in a manner that helps businesses succeed while helping workers secure pay and benefits they can raise a family on and retire with dignity and respect. So, uh, key word there, though, tentative uh, as well. So we'll keep an eye on that.